All right, everybody. So uh, this is gonna sh we're gonna show you the sequence from retinoscopy all the way up through JCC. I'm not actually gonna perform retinoscopy again, as you all know how to do that. However, I'm gonna pick right up with our first subjective spherical refinement test. We're gonna show you how to do the bichrome, and I'm for just expediency sake, I'm gonna drop off the MSBVA at this point. Uh, just know that if bichrome doesn't work for you in the refraction sequence because your patient isn't sensitive to it, you would sub in and do the MSBVA instead of bichrome. So we've already read it, our patient. Um, we're gonna 2040 blur. All right, so Phoebe, as you're looking over there, can you make out those, line, those letters? Yes. Awesome. Uh, we've got one eye closed, one eye open. Please tell me when those letters are so blurry you can't make any of them out at all. Okay. Right here. Good. And pause for a second. Can you make any out there? No. Go two past. And tell me the first time you can make out one or two of those, Phoebe. Right here. Good. You'd record the plus two for the biochrome on the right eye. And over here, same thing as before. Or, sorry, you would not record that as plus two for the biochrome. That's our 2040 blur, I apologize. Tell me when those letters are so blurry you can't make any of them out. Right here. Okay, I'll go two past. Tell me when you can make out just a couple. Here. Good. And we're going to go ahead and roll right into our bichrome now. We've ensured a 2040 blur. The setup on this again total room darkness, 2080 uh, isolated line of letters on a red and green eye chart. Uh, once we get that up, it's up. Okay. And here we go, Phoebes. I want you to tell me which side of the eye chart is uh, darker and slightly more distinct, the red or the green? The red. Good. And how about now? Red. Great. How about here? Red. Fantastic. Red. Good. Red. Red. Uh, equal. Great. Fantastic. And going to the other eye now, same as before. The red. Good. Red. Red. Red, 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 uh, green. Fantastic. All right, just to reiterate, when we go from red to green, you'll take visual acuities through the green lens, you'll record the green lens. On this eye, we had one equal, so we want red equal green. You would record the equal, which is gonna be plus a half. You would take visual acuities through the equal, which is plus a half but you would leave the plus a quarter lens or the green lens in place, okay? So that gets you through your bichrome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our first cylindrical refinement, and that's our JCC. So we'll go ahead and put our 2040 line up, our isolated 2040 line of letters up. Um, we've got our MSBVA or our bichrome sphere in there, and we have our cylinder from our retinoscopy in here. As you're looking over there, Phoebe, can you see that line of letters? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you two choices. I want you to tell me which line, uh, which choice makes the letters look more clear. Choice one or choice two. Two. Excellent. So Phoebe is already indicating she doesn't want any cylinder there. So I'll begin my axis, or excuse me, my power search, moving it to axis 45. How about one here or two? Two. Good. Again, we know that she doesn't want it here because the white dots are in alignment with the axis indicator arrows. We'll move it to 90 now. Is it more clear with one or two? Two. Good. She doesn't want it here either. And then we'll come over here and is it better with one or two? Two. Excellent. So here Phoebe has told us that she doesn't want any cylinder power at any of the principal meridians. Therefore, we've completed the cylinder power search for her right eye. Now we'll go to her left eye. And you'll notice that Phoebe had no cylinder from her retinoscopy. So the first step is we have to give her a quarter of a diopter cylinder so we can begin the process. And here we're going to go ahead. Everything is lined up. The dots are in alignment with the axis indicator arrows. I want you to tell me, are the letters more clear with one here or two? Two. Good. 
So Phoebe has indicated she does want some cylinder here at axis 180. I've now given her a half diopter of cylinder, so I have to maintain equivalent sphere. Add in a click of plus. Here we go. Are those letters more clear here with one or here with two? One. Excellent. So now she's telling us she's done. She doesn't want any more, so we can begin our axis refinement. We rotate it so that now the dots are straddling our axis indicator arrow, and we are going to be chasing the red here. So Phoebe, tell me what's better, more clear, one here or two? Two. Excellent. 15 degree step to begin with. How about one at one here or two? One. A little bit sharper there, so 10 degrees more. And watch how the flip goes. We always want to make it one smooth flip across. There's one or two. Two. Great. So five degrees more. We never want to do a half rotation. We never want to go one or two. We want it to be a nice smooth full flip. One or two. Uh, two. Okay. Five degrees more. How about one here or two? One. Great. Now we'll go five degrees back. How about one here or two? One. And one here or two. Two. So each time I'm moving at about five degrees, one here or two. One. Now she's reversed again, so I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to go two and a half degrees. How about one here or two? One. And she reversed again, so I'm going to go one degree back, and that puts me at axis 160. Now we're going to go ahead and finish with our final power check. Is it more clear here with one or two? Two. Great. So she wants another quarter diopter of cylinder power. How about one here? Sorry, one here or two? Uh, one. Now she wants it out again because this is our second power check. We can go down. And how about one here or two? Two. Now she wants less power again, so we take it out. Now remember, we have to maintain equivalent sphere. We reduced it. Now we're at a quarter. Here we will drop it back to where we began. How about one here or two? Two. Great. And here Phoebe has kicked out all of the cylinder again. So she has no cylinder power in the left eye or the right eye. That is a properly performed JCC on each eye. That's the sequence up to this point. Next time we get together, we will talk about our second subjective spherical refinement, how to balance a patient, and we'll actually give them their prescription.